no, that's not good. This one's stuck more than the other. Just come out, please! Oh, God, okay. What is going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Drive. Now, right now, we're in a burn side, and we're trying to get up speed because we're going to rip this sucker apart. We're checking out something called the Car Side Ripper, as well as a couple other mods today in this episode. So, uh, yes, this is another straight destruction mod here. We're going to have to try and line this thing up. And basically, it's like a can opener for cars. At least that that's the whole goal of this thing now. Oh, man, we don't really have much room for error. But yes, as you can see, this thing kind of hooks onto the sides. We didn't really go at it straight, so this one's probably not going to be that good. Okay. Oh, God. Good. Please don't break already. Okay. I think, I think, are we okay? Oh, God. We're not okay. We're not okay. Game, game is broken. Game is freaking broken already. What the hell, BMG? All right. Let's see if uh, maybe this crash hard van will go a little better. Hopefully this isn't going to be the episode of uh, Dre breaking the game because very hard to reset up BeamNG if you are curious. All right, so we are way off right now, so I'm going to have to be pretty aggressive on the turning. I got to hit this perfectly, so I really wish there was a way to like put a ruler out from it or something so we could see exactly where it was. This should actually be okay. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe not okay, but still a great crash. God damn, man. There's just parts everywhere, but that is not how it's supposed to go. We ripped the damn thing in half. Or wait, what, what is that? That would be the back suspension as well as part of the back of the car. So yeah, pretty much ripped the whole thing in half there. That went pretty well. We didn't break the game too, so that's the important part. At least, well, let's, let's, not, let's not jump to conclusions. We'll go back to real time, reset this, reset that. I think we're good. Okay, coming in at about 2.30. And that was a much better hit. Same idea as before, really. Just everything ripped off of this. Uh, but that is a beautiful crash, man. That thing, I mean, it does its job. It opens it up, but it didn't just open up the sides. I want to see if maybe we can get a car that will actually open up the sides as well. Let's go. I thought the van would be good, but maybe that van's a little too complex because it does have a roll cage in it and everything. So we'll go back to the van. Actually, we got some pretty speedy buses. Like the hero bus. It's pretty much a bare bones bus with a rocket engine on the back. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll spawn that. All right, the jet bus. One of my favorite vehicles in this game because look at the speed of this big old thing. All right, I'm gonna slow it down early because there's not much room for error when we're the size of a bus. I wanna, I wanna perfectly get this thing through because I feel like this is the answer. This thing will rip the sides perfectly. That or it's gonna destroy my game. I mean, we are going 350 kilometers an hour right now. This is a really fast bus. All right, I'm turning. I'm turning, trying to fix it. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh, and blackness. That's never a good sign. That is never a good sign. Let's reset it quick. Okay, I think we're okay. It didn't rip it though. I, I was expecting the sides to be perfectly ripped, damn it. Oh my God, this is this might be a bad idea. Okay. Uh, put a tow hitch on the Gavril Moonhawk. This one's a crazy addition, as you can see, because, yeah, we're, of course, going to try and take the caravan through. I thought we needed something with a little bit of speed, so hopefully this goes well. By the way, the, uh, the roll cage. Oh, that's actually not the roll cage. What is that for? I guess to save the hood if you do flip it? That's amazing. All right, so I guess we're ready to go. Oh, my God, this is... This shouldn't work, but it's actually working. Okay, this is great. All right, just can't flip it, man. Oh, yeah, we're getting the old uh, caravan wobble. Oh, God. Okay, there's not... The, the weight is very uneven here. I'm gonna do my best to see if we can get it through this, though. Keep it slow. Keep it simple. We're okay. Going 200 kilometers an hour. Gonna have to start moving over. I might spin out, though, because of the caravan. <gasps> oh, this is bad. Yep. Still a great <laughs> crash, though. Man, that's gonna be really hard to keep in a straight line. Oh my god. Holy crap! Dude, that's... Oh, what the hell? Man, I'm really good at breaking the game today. So what happened exactly? Where's my car? Is it is it here? Did it, like... Did I break it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're good. Okay, not sure if this thing's gonna be any better. It's definitely gonna be slower. Still getting that little wobble that we got going on. I did do a pretty aggressive turn there, though. 
Yeah, I thought this SUV would actually be bigger. This thing is dwarfed by this caravan. That or we have a really big caravan. I'm not really sure. Okay, but I can keep it straight. It's not, like, fighting me like the other one, so we should be okay. We're definitely going a hell of a lot slower, though, but we might actually be able to get a nice straight slice here. Turning it a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, I got through! And, yeah, it's just... It's not doing that slice that I want. I expected it to just rip the sides off and keep going, but clearly, that's not gonna happen. Still, though, man, this thing is great. All right, and moving on to the next mod that we're gonna be showcasing today. Now, we're in the ETK 800 right now. This thing can work for 20 different vehicles, though, so... Uh, oh, I don't wanna actually go in vehicles. I wanna go to vehicle config, because we're gonna turn this, at least hopefully, into a train. Oh, 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 bicycle wheels. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll try that later, but yes, we want the front train wheels. Oh god, okay, I probably should have went on the track first. Actually, it said in the thing to do that first, but I kind of wanted to see if we could do it on the ground as well. So rear wheels, obviously, we're going to want those as well. All right, and there we go. So now we have a train car, basically. Oh my god, this is amazing. So can I actually... Oh yeah, that, you know, friction's kind of a thing you need uh, in vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I expected us to move at least a little bit, but no, we're just sliding down the hill at this point. So you know what? Let's actually go back. You know what? Let's do the bicycle wheels just to get some sort of grip. You know, that's better than nothing. <laughs> oh, welcome to BMG, guys. This is great. I, ca I can't steer. I cannot steer. I kind of want to play with the with the bicycle wheels now, honestly. All right, so we'll be right back. I'm uh, I, I decided to play with the bicycle wheels now. Oh my god, these things actually. I, like, wonder if we can, like, deform these things. I feel like they should buckle under the weight of the car, but they're actually kind of working. This is actually amazing. Okay, so, yeah, we'll get we'll get back to the train thing. I just want to see if we, if we do a little jump or something. Oh, crap. Okay, that, that, that's bigger than a little jump. Jesus. All right, well, looks like bicycle wheels. Oh, yeah, we definitely... We have broken the car, guys. And did we break the wheels, though? That's the important part. No, these things look pretty damn good, man. Okay, so we'll maybe come back to the bicycle wheels in a bit, but let's obviously uh, try out the train update. So, well, not the, it's not really an update. It's a mod. What am I saying? But yeah, so if we get this car in here, we should... Oh, yeah, that's perfect. We are inside the... Th well, no, we're not really. Hopefully this works. Okay, so we officially have everything. We are not on the tracks, though, but we have the drag option for a reason so oh my god i'm that's way too much pressure let's drop that down a little bit before we break the damn thing all right front looks to be on we just got to get that back on and the back i think is on we're gonna reset this oh hell yeah dude hell yeah we got ourselves a train it is not going as fast as i expected i mean we are gonna have to slowly get up to speed let's reset it again and that might be what breaks it is the resetting nope Okay, we're okay this time. Let's see how fast we can get this thing going. It might take a while, but let's appreciate the fact that we're a car now that has turned into a train. I, sh I shouldn't have to do anything, right? I'm just I'm just a train. Full throttle, man. Right ahead. Oh, God. Did we just derail? Did we just friggin' derail already? Yep, we, f we friggin' derailed already, guys. That That's impressive. It didn't take long at all. God, I was hoping to do, like, high-speed trains. Clearly, uh, cars like to derail quite quickly, though. Let's get out of this view. Now, there is 20 cars that currently uh, can fit on the track, so there are other options to try. I, I, I was believing in the ETK 800, though. We haven't used this thing too much, and I thought it'd be good. Okay, we're getting some speed. I don't know why the brakes are going on. I'm not doing that. I just need to see, to see a fast train, man. Yeah, there's uh, I think we're just spinning the wheels at this point. Okay, yep, there we go. We derailed again. So, yeah, the ETK 800, not very good as a train. I, I, I just confirmed that. Okay, let's see if the hopper is any better now. Oh, God, here we go again. Why does it do this? Every time I try and put something on the tracks, it likes to, like, glue itself down. All right, so respawning it. Maybe out here. Oh, wow, this feels way better already, though. But respawning it, like, you can't seem to respawn things on track. Like, look at that. I, I can tell already that's definitely stuck in the damn tracks. So, yeah, I guess you got one chance with uh, trains. Problem is, oh no, that's not good. This one's stuck more than the other. Just come out, please. Oh god. Okay, I got a little aggressive there. 
All right, so you know what? We're going to have to manually put it on every time, I think. We're going to reset it like this. Because, yeah, spawning it on the tracks just ruins it. So we can lightly... Oh, God, let's drop that force down a little bit. But, yeah, now we should be able to lightly put this thing on the tracks and not destroy it before we can even drive it. All right, so that looks pretty good. We just got to slide it in there a little bit. And front's in. Back is almost in. Let's do this right so we don't derail ourselves. And there we go. We got a hopper on the freaking tracks. And this one, you can see, picking up way more speed. I definitely is better than the ETK 800. So I think this is might might be what we use. Because I, I got an idea, guys. And it should be fun. I want to see if we... Oh, really? Okay, so it's clear that vehicles are really... Or sorry, cars are not supposed to be trains. Go figure. Uh, that's too bad, though. I was hoping we wouldn't derail so much. All right, let's give the ETKI series a try. Maybe... Nope. Just... It, it can't. These are not meant to be trains, man. You really are gonna have to go slow around those turns if you want this thing to work. Because I've tried with three different vehicles now, and none of them are actually doing this right. All right, so maybe if we just go for a nice Sunday train ride, this might actually work. So I'm... Trying to feather the throttle so we're not going so fast. Really wish we could see right now to see if this is working or not. So far, so good. Oh, that did, that didn't look good. Is it, are, we, are we still on the track? Man, you have to go so slow. And even still, I think it looked like we were off the track for a second, but I guess we were not. All right, you know what? Let's change this camera because this is very confusing. We're doing a turn, guys, at 32, which was pretty much as fast as we could go with the wheel spinning full throttle. So this might be the answer to kind of just, you know... Do as a train do and not go full throttle. Oh, this is a hard turn coming up. Slow it down. Slow it down. Come on. All right. I think I've got my train game on now. I, I understand how to do it. You just can't go full throttle, and that's no fun. I got to be honest, but this might be able to turn into a train now, and that, that's the ultimate goal right now. See if we can actually make a train. Okay, full throttle. Full throttle. Let's see how much we can get up over here. Actually, I think that's a hard turn coming up because I think I saw we got the train bridge over here. So, we're not good. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a hard turn. Okay, this is a good test. Slowing all the way down. Okay, I think it has to do with me spinning the wheels. That's, that's what I'm getting at because we should be derailed by now. I, I shouldn't just talk anymore. I, I, sh I should just do no commentary gameplay because every time I say something, it freaking breaks. <laughs> Well, I guess there's nothing else to do, but pray we don't derail this thing, because there's no way in hell I'm resetting this. You just, it's not as simple as respawning like everything else. So I'm praying, oh my god, we have enough speed, or we have enough torque, rather, that we can actually move this thing. Now, obviously, we could go as crazy as we wanted with this. This took me about 30 minutes to set up, though, so I'm happy with three caravans, but yes. You can actually put tow hitches on the back of caravans and have a caravan train. I feel like this is a weird episode of Trailer Park Boys that we've never seen. You know what? This should be an episode of Trailer Park Boys because it would probably be amazing. Now, I'm going... Well, I'm not going full throttle because I'm very scared about de derailment right now. But I'm going pretty fast and we're actually getting up some speed. Looks like we're staying on there. I was worried the weight of the trailers would lift the front end up. We actually might be better because the amount of weight we have going on this front car, it might stay on the... Oh, don't, don't say that. Every time I say that, it breaks. So it might be good. Let's, let's just say that. Hopefully that doesn't break it. But, I mean, let's look at this. Let's, let's appreciate the fact that we're a caravan freaking train right now. This is amazing. Oh, God. I feel like I'm going too fast. I'm so scared about the... Oh! Oh, man, you're doing it! Maybe this is what we needed, just a lot of weight. I mean, I feel like it's going okay. Let's not jump to any conclusion. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. Every, every time I, I talk about something, it, it happens. I'm like the most unlucky gamer ever, I swear to God. All right, guys, well, on that bombshell, <laughs> we're gonna have to end off this episode of BeamNG here. I hope one day respawning on the tracks is made much easier because 
Uh, it wouldn't be so bad making this train if I didn't have to manually move everything every time I respawned. I was hoping to get up speed and, you know, try and crash this thing into maybe another thing, but I guess we'll have to wait till the next episode for that. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out two unique mods in this episode. As always, if you do want to download those mods, link be in the description. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.